What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, JB, and we are here today with Growing Up Hip Hop Season 6, Episode 9. Some type of way is the name of the episode, you guys. Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This episode annoyed the shit out of me. It was just annoying. And um, for me, I think the thing that was the most annoying in this episode was the Savannah Stevie J situation as well as the TT... The and it's not even really TT, it's the Egypt, um, Sandy, and um, that crackhead Don. But we're gonna talk about it, you guys. So, before we get into that, if you guys are watching this video or any of the other videos on the channel, and you guys are not subscribed to the channel, while we're going out on a date, hit that subscribe button. And, um, let's before we get let's, um, without further ado, let's get into this review, sh shall we? All right, you guys. So, trying to we're trying to find a light, there it is. So it's kind of it's it's currently trying to rain here where I'm at, so the lighting might be a little bit off. You know what the fuck you doing? Um. So yeah, sorry you guys about not reviewing last week's episode. Um, had food poisoning, so we didn't do it. So we're here this week for episode number nine. So in this episode, it opens up. We see Vanessa, right? So Vanessa is talking to Angela. They're having a wine. They're having you know wine time with each other, right? So Vanessa is telling Angela about the rumor that was going around about TT and um, Sean that was spread through Egypt and through that crackhead Don, right? So she also tells um, Angela that the wedding gets postponed. And Angela's like, oh my God, you know, I was looking forward to going to Jamaica. You know, she had these plans for Jamaica. Well, girl, if you had them plans for Jamaica, you can make your own trips to Jamaica. Period, point blank. You guys, I'm really sorry if this video is... I'm going to try to work with this one editing because it's really dark, but I can't really control that. that. Um, so then Vanessa is wondering if TT is mad at her, you know, kind of like um, a sh kind of a shoot the messenger kind of situation. You know, she told T she told TT what had been told to her by Cree, which had been told to her by Savannah. And honestly, I mean, I guess I mean, each, I mean, TT could be mad, but. It wouldn't be any reason to be mad at Vanessa because Vanessa is just looking out for you, which you're her friend. So it really wouldn't be a big thing to look out for. You know, there go to um, there goes um, a family dog, Nino, in the street. Um. So yeah, the wedding is postponed. So then we move over to JoJo and Tanise, right? So JoJo and Tanise, they are out eating, and they're going to be meeting up with Lil Easy and his wife. I forget what her name is. Um and. Um, Jojo and Tanise believe that they might be pregnant. They took a pregnancy test, but, you know, she's just a little iffy, you know. She just wants to go to the doctor, and once she gets once she gets to the doctor, she wants to be able to confirm that she is, in fact, pregnant, right? So then, a little easy, they show up, and then they talk about how awkward it was, you know, when they were at Brianna's party. Now, I have not... I'm going to go back and rewatch that episode, because I, I was watching it, and then I was looking, I'm like, wait a minute, this ep... Because I was looking at it, and I'm like, wait a minute. This episode, is, this is episode eight, I'm like, wait a minute. And then I looked at my notes, I'm like, wait a minute, I did episode seven, I didn't do episode eight, so I'm not, I haven't finished that episode yet, so I don't know full well what happened at the party, but we'll definitely discuss it. Um, so they also talk about, you know, um, Savannah and Little Easy, and them getting into it, and JoJo was like, do you think you maybe need to sit down and have a conversation with Stevie J? And Lil Easy's like, you know what? Yeah, maybe I should sit down and have a conversation with TVJ. So let's move on, you guys. Child, I don't know why I had to see this scene of Sam in that god dang... I don't know if it was a sex shop or what, but I don't know why I needed to see that scene of Sam. Like, I, I really did not need to see that scene. Like, I, we see Sam looking at thongs, G-strings, um, boxers, all of that. I'm just like, ew. I get it, Sam. You done OnlyFans. I still don't understand who the fuck would pay for an OnlyFans for Sam. It's just nothing there. I'm like, ugh, no. So he's meeting Savannah there, and I'm like, that is the most interesting thing in the world. Why are you meeting Savannah at a lingerie store? Disgusting as hell. Like, if I was Egypt, I would really feel some type of way, but Egypt is a dumbass. Like, I'm like, why are you meeting another woman? I mean... <laughs> No, I mean, no. Why? Why are we mean at a sec? Why are we mean at a lingerie store first and foremost? Like, if you, so, the thing is, um, 
Sam is talking about the fact that he wants to do a lingerie line for men, you know, straight, gay, bi, pan, sexual, whatever you are. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But you couldn't have her come over to the crib, you know, maybe have some sketches or something like that. You meet her at a at a at a lingerie store. And he's talking about, you know, he um so he says that he wants a vinyl to start, you know, he wants to start it. He wants her help to construct it. I'm like, ew, no. So then she tells him, like, you know, I'm upset with you and with Egypt. He was like, why? She's like, because y'all got me out here looking like uh, y'all got me on a dummy mission. I'm like, yeah. You didn't realize that from the jump that you were on a dummy mission when they literally sat there and told you that Sean was cheating on TT. You don't know TT from a can of paint. You don't know TT from Sam's Tom's cat. Like, yes, they set you up on a dummy mission. They literally set you up on a dummy mission. But I think what I think what um you know Savannah could have done in that situation was maybe she could have went and said you know. Maybe she could have went and talked to... I don't know. Because there's no easy way... There was no easy way with that situation. Because she was damned if she did and damned if she didn't. So, yeah, they really... I mean, and they they literally set you up. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And then she tells him about, you know, her and Lil Easy getting into it. Um, Since we're talking about them, let's talk about this. I don't understand why I have to look at the two lesbians... Sam and Egypt. So they were cooking, make, they were kicking the street tacos, right? And then Sandy brought her, her ass in up with that ugly ass wig on. So they talking to Sandy about the fact that TT and Sean's wedding is postponed. And they're like, oh my God, why is it postponed? I don't know what happened. Y'all know what the fuck happened. Like, stop playing like y'all are dense, dunce. Y'all dense, y'all are dunces. Y'all are imbeciles. Like, stop playing like y'all are stupid. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that T.T. called off her wedding because of the rumor that was spread by that crackhead Don. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, she canceled her wedding because of that. Like, we'll talk about that a little later. It, but it's COVID. Nobody, only person that I know, only people that I know in 2020 that had COVID weddings was Cynthia Bailey from Real Housewives of Atlanta because that was part of her storyline. And Kelly died from Real Housewives of Orange County. But even with Kelly died, dumbass, Kelly Dodd had a COVID, uh, an actually uh, actual COVID wedding. Actually, um, Delicious and her husband got married in 2020 as well. So you could have your wedding, unless I mean you could have your wedding, but you would have to also risk people potentially getting sick and co- contracting COVID and giving it to other people. So I don't like the fact that they want to make it out that you know they don't know what the issue is. Right? Let's play like they don't know what the issue is. But even if the issue was the fact that y'all spread a rumor, why y'all playing like y'all don't know what the hell is going on? Y'all like y'all are actually and then the fact they delusion was fuck. They talking about, you know, her wedding in Jamaica. You know, every woman should have her dream wedding. Egypt, you and your mama both should shut the hell up because they really honestly in that scene got on my damn nerves. And they t- and then Sandy, her raggedy ass. Sandy's raggedy ass talking about, um, you know, Tahira should be like, you know, I know that, um, you know, Sam and I don't necessarily like each other. We don't necessarily vibe with each other. We don't like each other. But my baby cousin, she loves him. Girl, what? Girl, what? Sam lied on TT. Like, he lied on her. That's the real, that's the main reason that she doesn't fucking like him. He lied. Like, I don't, I, I, I can't with these ignorant, I can't, it, and I'm going to talk about it again because Maureen mentioned it in the end of the episode. I'm going to talk about it again. So let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys. Um, Next up, let's talk about TT. So TT met up with Brianna and they were going to meet, they were also meeting with Vanessa. Vanessa is late, however, right? So Vanessa does show up and they talk, right? So she asked TT how she's been since, you know, the party. TT says that she and Sean are good. Sean is more better. Sean is a little bit better than she is. So then Vanessa says, "Okay, well, you know, you and I really haven't had a conversation since I told you about the rumor." And she was like, "I just want to make sure that we're good, and and I also want you to know that no matter what, like, I got your back. Like, even you know, if something comes out, if I hear something about you, I'm going to have your back. 
I'm going to come to you and I'm going to tell you, which I respect that so much. I respect the person who does that. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't respect people that if you heard that somebody was talking some shit about me and you sat there and listened to it, boogie, you listened to it and didn't tell me about it. So I can respect that. So TT says, you know, she's good. But, you know, listening to that, hearing that was just upsetting to her. Right. Which understandably so that it's upsetting to hear that your own family members are talking shit about you. And, you know, she says that the wedding is still on. But right now, because of COVID, they're just not going to have to. They're going to postpone it, which makes sense to me. Um, And she told Vanessa, you know, once I called off, I wasn't. I wasn't mad at you. She was just mad about she was just mad about where the rumor came from. And she tells them that the rumor came from that crackhead ass auntie, Don, that she hasn't talked to in, she said, did she say decades? Girl. Um damn. Should I keep going? I'm gonna stop right here, you guys, and we're gonna keep moving. All right, you guys, next up, let's talk about Stevie J, right? So we see Stevie J. He's in the studio with Lil Stevie, and they had some artists in there. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. That song that I was listening to was trash as fuck. I wouldn't pay for that song if it was free. It was hella auto-tuned. Those little niggas look like they were just lips. Actually, those little niggas look like they were lip syncing, to be quite honest with you. So Lil Easy pulls up to the studio, right? And he wants to talk to Stevie J about the situation happened with him and Savannah. So Lil Easy tells him, you know, what happened, his side of the situation. And Stevie J was like, you know what, that sounds a lot like Savannah because, you know, I've been on the receiving end of that before. And I was like, okay, whatever. So then, you know, here's my thing with this. They actually get on my goddamn nerves with the questions of where is Savannah getting her money from? I think that's what's annoying me the most. Where is Vana getting her money from? If Savannah is not, you know, selling her body, if she's not, if she, if she's not doing anything illegal, let's put it that way. If she's not selling her body, if she's not selling drugs, if she's not doing anything that's illegal, why are y'all so up in arms about where is Savannah getting her money? So then we see Savannah and Cree. They are at Starbucks and they spend an up. They spent up forty dollars at Starbucks. I'm like, damn. The fuck did you, but I heard what they bought. I'm like, shit, who's drinking all that shit? But whatever. So then Savannah got a text from um little Stevie telling her to come to the studio and that their dad is there, right? So they pull up to the studio and Savannah goes in. And actually, we're gonna wrap this up, right? So Savannah goes in there, she's on 10 immediately, especially when she sees little Easy, and she goes off on all of them. So then she was like, when you move like I move, you can talk to how you can talk however you want to talk to people. I'm like, no, ma'am, that ain't how that work. You you should have respect for people, right? So then, you know, Savannah and Lil Easy, they were able to apologize and make amends with one another. And um, so then, you know, they all left. So Stevie J is asking her once again, where do you get your money from? I'm like, Stevie. I get it, you her daddy. I get it, you don't want her to be doing anything. Even if it was a sugar daddy, why would you care? Like, she's a grown woman. She can do whatever she want to do. What's the perp? What's the, what's the issue, Stevie? So Savannah says, you know, she got a loan for forty thousand dollars. I'm like, girl, please don't tell me you got a PPP loan, cause that's all I could think about. I'm like, Savannah got a motherfucking PPP loan, but she got a loan. It is what it is. Now they know where she got her money from moving on all right you guys and then let's talk about jojo and tanise and then we're gonna wrap it up right so jojo and tanise you guys remember i was telling you that tanise believes that she's pregnant and they just want to go to the doctor's office to confirm that she's pregnant so they go to the doctor's office and i love the fact that jojo is super duper supportive of tanise you know especially with what they've been through with the miscarriage so the doctor does come in right and the doctor does you know she finds a baby she finds the heartbeat and they are in fact pregnant so congratulations go out to jojo and tanise right so the doctor tells them that they need to minimize the stress for Tanise for the next few months of this pregnancy. And, you know, also don't tell as many people, don't tell so many people that you're pregnant. At least wait until you at least start to show, number one, or at least until you get through your um, first trimester, which makes a lot of sense. 
So yeah, congratulations go out to JoJo and Tanise. And then let's wrap the episode up with the scene that annoyed the shit out of me, right? So TT, so Maureen comes over to TT's crib, right? And Maureen is so TT is telling her about this rumor that got started. She said Egypt went around telling people. She told Savannah, and Savannah told Cree, and Cree told Vanessa, who told TT, right? So then she said she called um, her cousin Chris, and um, she wanted to. Know, she asked him about it, and he told her that it was that crackhead Don that um, spread this rumor. All right, so, you guys. So the video cut off because I needed to clear some space. Yeah, my cousin just walked outside. It ain't even noon yet. And this bitch just walked outside with a 40 ounce in her hand. And it's damn near gone. <laughs> oh, God. My family's a mess. But, um, so, yeah, I was talking about um, Maureen. So, Maureen's thing now is, like, you know, I keep telling Tahira to, you know, make amends. You know, work things out and make amends with them. But how can I do that when y'all are going around destroying the family and the fact that y'all are letting sam come in between the family and that's my issue with them y'all dumbasses is letting sam come in between your family like that's the dumbest shit i could i mean i'm not gonna sit here and let someone like a sam come in between me and my family like the dumbest shit in the world right sam is a nobody sam is nobody like maureen don Sandy, y'all are blood sisters. Tahira is your niece. <laughs> like, I don't get it. Like, how can you turn your back on your family? Like, how can you do that? It just makes no sense to me. So, Maureen called Chris up, right? And they just want to get to the bottom of this. Like, why is this happening? Like, this is tearing the family apart at this point. So then, you know, um, um, Maureen was like, you know, well, let me call Don up. And Tahira's like, you can call up Don. I don't want to have anything. To, I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to have anything to do with her. Like, you can do whatever you want to do, Mom, but I don't want to. So Don called up. I mean, not Don, but Maureen called up Don's crackhead ass, right? She was talking to her about Tahira, and Don hung up in, in her face. I'm like, see, I feel, you know, it's just really and truly, it's Sandy. It's, Sa it's Sandy. It's Sandy, and it's that ugly. It's Sandy and that damn daughter of hers. Like, y'all are really willing to throw your family away for Sam? Why? Girl, you're making me think he's sleeping with both of y'all. Like, I'm really starting to believe that Sam is sleeping with both um, Sandy and fucking uh, Egypt. It's something going on. And it's nasty and it's weird. But that's it, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification button, you guys. Um, Share the video and... Let's see what else I want to say. Stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear your mask or not. Whichever one you guys do decide to do, be blessed. And be safe in whatever you do and socially distance. And I'm going to see you guys later on tonight or maybe it might be tomorrow. I'll see you guys for the reunion, part two of the reunion for Ready to Love as well as Love After Lockup. So until then, you guys, bye.